Everyone, my name is Alpha. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to another speed build. I hope you're all doing well and having such a fantastic day. So today we are building in this world in Brindleton Bay and um, to be honest, I'm not sure which lot this is because um, I think this is the museum lot or something. Um, but I was building something over here and then I um, downloaded from the gallery. I mean, download my build from the gallery just to play test everything and then the lot name changed into my build that i was play testing so i don't know what the lot name is but this is the music lot in that um like island in brindleton bay and i've been wanting to build a converted barn type of a house because a few months ago like on i don't know mid um october i would say i built a converted barn wedding venue it's a it's a pumpkin barn wedding venue to be exact um it's for a collab build and i love this style so much i've never built anything like this before i mean except the wedding venue that i built like a few months ago um but i just want to build something that looks kind of like a converted barn type of a house and to be honest I struggled quite a lot on this build. I don't know, maybe because um, it has this weird like a long box shape and yet I don't want to have like a very boxy shape build wise. Um, so I tried to make it less boxy. I mean, I put just a little pump up on that side over there and then I put the, the porch a little bit on the other side and I put this to like a kind of a dormer type situation, but it's actually uh, it's actually room over there so we have three bedrooms total and I don't know two bathroom I would say um, one of the bedroom is quite small you will see in just a little bit but it's I don't know I just don't feel like it's a it's a perfect room for maybe like a like a study area or like an office um, I just don't want to do like a very high-tech type of a belt over here I mean for that room so yeah I just turned that into uh, another bedroom I hope you're okay with that and um, I cut a bunch of part where I struggled with the floor plan because this is such a boxy house and most of the times I prefer um, a less boxy type of belt maybe like a I mean something that has a little bit bump out here and there uh, it will be much preferred for me but since this is such a like a very long box build i struggled quite a lot with the floor plan but at the end i did okay and i think this is a medium wall height and um to be honest i didn't really like that much i mean the medium and tall wall height but since we got platforms like a few months ago or maybe a year since we got the um snowy tip it's yeah it's a year snowy skip was released like last year the end of last year i would say and it was very surprising because i didn't really think that we'll get a um, platform but eventually we got it and um, i use it way more often than i use um, foundation so even though it's a bit too tall i mean on this build but i think it's fine it's not like super super tall whatsoever but um, it's quite tall but not that like crazy tall and um, on the first story over here we have the kitchen on the left and then when you go inside the house you can see the um, kind of like a dining or yeah dining area I would say it's quite a small space but I managed to put a like a very small one by one square table it's a debug table I think it's a craftable item from um, eco lifestyle and on the other side we have a kind of like a like a living space and I put that blooming rooms kind of like a divider thing over there um as a divider of course to separate the space a little bit more because um i don't know i just feel like it needs a little more like a kind of like a more private area i would say and then since i use quite a lot of packs on this build i am so sorry but most of the packs that i use um are just like i only use one of them from several packs so it doesn't matter anyway um you don't have to have those packs 
in order to download this build so um anyway um we have the living space over here and yes that door over there is functional because i play tested it and i was so afraid that it won't function but in the end it was function normally and since i use laundry day i thought that i think it's nice to have a um a laundry of course i mean the the washing machine i don't want to do a washing tub because that's such a like a a huge deal i mean i don't really like washing my clothes manually i always use washing machine um but we have two clothes hanging on the outside so i think that's that's nice i mean one is not enough especially when you have like a more than i would say four sims in a household so yeah two two clothes lines i think it's it's okay and then um we have a bedroom here to be honest i'm not sure which one is the is the master bedroom because this bedroom over here it's kind of like a it's kind of large but i do really like the other bedroom that we have um upstairs so i'm not sure which one is the master bedroom and both bedrooms don't have an ensuite bathroom so um yeah there's no ensuite bathroom it's just like a regular regular bathroom on this field even though we have two bathrooms so the first one is over here on the downstairs area and we have the other one on the upstairs and um i tried to use this red wall panel i think that's how you say it um i don't know but this wood plank reddish brick color not like actual brick but it's a brick color and i've never used that ever i even didn't really remember that it was excess so i tried to use that and i bring that red wood paneling over there um all over the interior so it's kind of like a it's kind of matching with the exterior i would say and um we're just basically finishing up with the first story over here and we're moving on to the second story so um we have a uh, kind of like a spacey landing area and we have this tiny bedroom over here it's a three by four tiles um everything's functional and even though this is very small but i think this is one of my most favorite bedroom i mean for the size of the bathroom i i really do like it and um i tried to put the um this ivy thingy on the outside just to make it looks a bit more like more costly and more like lush i would say even though this is a sandy area and um there's no such thing as this ivy curtain thingy i would say on this um world but it looks so cute and i decided to keep it anyway and we have a closet from get together on the landing space over here and um the landing space is quite spacey actually if you just don't want to deal with the whole closet thingy you can just um delete that and put maybe a pc or a laptop or i don't know like another sitting space or an easel something like that and we have another bedroom on the other side and i decided to use the bed from uh city living and this swatch i've never used this blue swatch ever it looks so pretty and i decided just to do this kind of like an l-shaped type of a desk like working desk it's so cute i really wish we have an l-shaped desk even though i'm not sure how they will do that in game and um i record this at the end of november so i don't know i think by the time this video goes live we'll have another patch update with the whole like a uh, um what is that the 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 cake fruit cake update with the tray for fruit cake something like that um i'm so excited about that so anyway we're just finishing up with the whole interior and we're moving forward to the exterior here and as i said before that we have two clothes lines so um if you don't want to deal with doing laundry i mean la doing laundry in real life is quite quite really something i don't really like doing laundry especially ironing um but if you don't want to do that in the sims just delete the the clothesline and the um, washing machine because oh and also the 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 bin thingy what is that the basket um the laundry basket just delete them because they eventually will mark your belt as a 
I mean, do you activate this kind of like a whole laundry setting thingy? I'm not sure how to say that, um, but I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. And then on the exterior, since this is a very big lot, it's not that big though, but this is a 30 by 30 lot. Um, I wasn't really sure about the um, landscaping, so I tried to put a bunch of like landscaping items that I think it looks very natural on this lot because um, I use a ton of landscaping from base game and cats and dogs, cats and dogs mostly, um, just to make it look like it, it blends with the world and um, on the front porch or side porch over here, I'm not sure which one is the front and the side, but on that entryway over there, the kind of like a patio deck, something like that, porch area, we have an outdoor dining and we also have a grill from um, jungle not jungle together <laughs> jungle adventure oh my god my brain is so weird but yeah i think that's it um we just are finishing up with the landscaping and we'll be heading on to the screenshots in just a bit so if you want to download this build this has been up on the sims 4 gallery you can find it under my aid which is alfatera or under the hashtag flaming sims you can also click the link in the description box below that will bring you to my coffee website It'll have two different links. So the first one is the gallery download link from the website gallery. And the second one is the tray files download link that will bring it to sim file share. It's totally free. And yeah, I think that's it. I really hope you did enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to, you could also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. So yeah, I'm going to sign off right now. Thank you so very much for joining me today and supporting my channel. Enjoy the rest of the screenshots and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!